Oh! Hey! I didn't see you there. It's been a while since I made one of these videos, hasn't it? You know, I've been thinking for quite a while now. Since JJ probably thinks I had Sam kick his ass for me. So I had Sam kick his ass for me. He thinks I'm having Sam kick his ass for me. No, that's not the case. At first, that was the case. Now it's not, boy. So you need to listen up. I'm thinking, well, yeah, this is my new gear. Look, the gloves come with the gear. Just need the tights, the boots, some other shit. That might work out. Um, I should be getting a new mask in a couple months. So everybody needs to listen up. I'm thinking, you just saw me. Working at the bench. Over there. A the bench over there. Yeah. Have fun, work out, you know. Do work other shit. So what I've been thinking is, maybe I should come back. You know, maybe I should, uh, have time for, have it be time for, Austin Payne. To come back, you see, I've only worked out once on that bench. And I say hello to my friend, the pain bag, as I like to call it. And the pain bench, the pain bag. I've hit this more times than anybody in AWF. When I do accidentally hit somebody, I realize I hit them. But this? I don't give a fuck, okay? So I've been thinking that maybe I should come back. Maybe Austin Payne should, uh, come back and have some ring time again. Seeing as how Ethan wants to make me not be a wrestler anymore and ref stupid matches. Which that's what I'm not going to do because you see, I didn't get into wrestling to ref, okay? Most of us didn't get into wrestling to ref. Most of us got into wrestling to wrestle and take our anger out. Okay? So here's the thing, I'm thinking about coming back soon. I'm not saying I want to come back this week and no, I'm pretty sure LJ or JJ is going to go off on me more than likely because that's what he seems to do every fucking time I try to say something to anybody over there or just try to show my face for a couple minutes. He tends to go off. So uh, Sam said he would take care of that. I believe him since Sam is a big tough guy and he could take a lot of shit but here's what is gonna happen when I do decide to come back I'm gonna get the gear that I want I'm gonna do what I want when I want and how I want if Ethan has a problem with that we can have a match to decide that let's make it simple Winner takes all. No. We'll make a winner takes all. But the business of AWF and him having the right over it to do and say shit. I don't care if Drew Millington's 50% owner of it and the other 50% owner of it is Josh James. Let's make this match more interesting if he's not willing to agree with what I have to say. Let's make a match. Winner take all. Ethan loses, I get AWF, I get the company, and I get 100% ownership of it. Enough said. He wins, he keeps ownership of it. And I stick to the storylines like they, he originally wanted me to. So think about it.
And when you're thinking about it, maybe take some time to, uh, I don't know, come over. Have me and Drew Lillington cut a deal, or me and you cut a deal. Record it like I'm doing right now. So that we have video evidence of what's up. Maybe, hell, maybe when I'm punching a punching bag, you could be working out on my bench, or I could be working out on my bench while you're punching the punching bag. We could cut a deal between either me and you, Ethan Beast, or me and Drew Lewington. Oh! I forgot to tell you, the other thing is, you need to be champ when this match happens. Because you lose, I become champ. World champ. So I'll let you think about it for a month or two. I'll get back to you, of course, because unlike some people, they don't get back to somebody, and I tend to get back to people when they want me to fucking get back to them. So here's what I'm, that's what I'm suggesting. Now I know you're probably going to skip this video and totally be a dumbass, and then when I come back, you're not even going to know I'm gonna come, that I'm deciding to come back, because on my birthday, about 11 o'clock, Ethan, I mean, not Ethan, Colton Bess, and Samuel Tyrannis decided to come over and say hi to me. Say some things that kind of got me a little fired up. Not, it wasn't nothing bad. It wasn't, oh, JJ's talking shit about you or whatever. It's just the fact that they said that they miss seeing me in AWF. And basically, what I see it, in as, see it as, they want me back. And not only that, but it's changed since I've been gone. Ethan may be going, <laughs> we don't need him back, he was just drama. Boy, I was drama for the good reasons. Everybody always got so pissed off, everybody got so fucking hyped. Everybody got, let's just say your fans, they may have not wanted to come to the shows, but deep down inside your fans, down inside your fans, they wanted to come back to see more because they wanted to see what other drama was going to unfold. When it came to me. What was going to happen? I brought the entertainment fact into that. And you did not realize that. And that's a big mistake. Because. Most wrestling groups out there. Probably be like. Hey this guy can bring in lots of money. He knows how to put the drama factor in this wrestling thing. Because mostly wrestling is drama. So. If you don't like it. You know what. You just hand over the own full ownership. I'll take full ownership of AWF. Or hell you can hand it over to Cole. You can get the fuck out of the business. And uh, I'd be more than happy to come back any week now. But. Uh, I'll think about coming back this weekend. I probably won't. But. Uh, just keep in the back of your mind. Any week I could come back. You wouldn't even know. Because the only two people. That I'll keep in the groove. That I'll keep up to date. Would be. Samuel Tyrannis, Colton Best. Since they decided to visit me that night, even though I didn't tell them to, and I already had told you, Ethan Beast, that I don't want you to do it. Apparently it was my birthday, you should have came over and said, Hi, how you doing? Happy birthday, bro. But you didn't. They didn't. They, they might have said happy birthday, they might have not. But I knew why they were over there, over here, that one night. Because they want to see me before midnight. After midnight, anybody's birthday, especially mine, if it's, if, for example, mine's April 7th, after midnight, April 8th, midnight after midnight. It's April 8th, new, new day. Not my birthday no more. Oh, other thing. Cut this video as short as I can because I know people don't like me talking. And that's made it very clear, especially Ethan saying that. That the. Uh, there's one thing. Nick Fishes, I know Sam gave you those tights. But I've been butchering him about tights like that for a long ass time. Been what, five or six months? I've been butchering him about them. Those are the tights I want for the monster Austin pain.
I'll cut a great deal with you. How about this? I fight you for them. You lose. They're mine. You win. You keep them. But just remember, I want to keep butchering Samuel about them until I finally get a pair like that. Think smart. Until later. Until then. All I have to say is, uh, get ready because any week I can return. And when I return, nobody will ever know when I fucking return. Unless, of course, you decide to talk to Samuel or Cole to see when the hell I'm returning. Sometime this week, I'm going to hopefully get both of them to come over to uh, make plans to uh, come back and form a tag team like the RK, but better, like WWE's DX. Fuck around, have fun. Because uh, it's kind of what I'm planning on doing when I come back. I'm fucking around having some fun. So uh, take me up on that deal, both y'all. Especially Ethan, because if you don't, I know you may say I'm not a part of VWO. I'm part of the VWO, bro. Vendetta World Order, bro, okay? Or as I like to call it, Virgin World Order. Hey! But yeah. If you, if you say I'm not a part of it, think twice. Because if I get Colton Best or San Antonio this week together, I'll make myself known. Oh, you'll know. Because I'll make them do a video with me. Saying what's going on. Seeing them for an attack team or whatever. And, uh, you won't like it. I know you have the VWO. Oh, you got TGC went to shit. As far as I'm concerned, TGC's done, but apparently it's not. So you got VW, you got TGC, you got the corporation. Sooner or later, you're going to have another group. You're going to have a group for those people who get outcasts, get talked shit to, all that shit. And no, JJ, I'm sorry, you won't be allowed in this group because everybody knows JJ Money used to be TGC and now he's corporate. So until then, adios. Pain fans, whether well, you're a fan of the Monster of Awesome Pain, or you're a fan of Austin awesome Pain, or you're a fan of both, till next time, adios. I leave you with the sound. Me punching, my punching back, because everybody knows how pissed off I get at LJ, or I should say JJ Money. He pisses me off so much, that's why I wanted this shit for my birthday, so that I could get fucking muscles, so that if anything were ever happen, I might accidentally punch him in the face and knock him the fuck out or some shit like that, but whatever, moving on. Ha 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 ha!